I have cerebral palsy, which means I'm bound to a wheelchair. I was born with it. I, I'm also, I'm part of a twin. We was born premature, you know, and uh, we both, both, both brain damage. Unfortunately, my twin brother got, you know, the, the worst of it. And for me now, I grew up normal. So I grew up normal just like any other child. You know, I have cerebral palsy, but before I was on a wheelchair because, you know, with age, the condition gets a little worse because it, um, it, it affects your muscles, cerebral palsy. So I'm spastic from the waist down. So all my muscles in my legs and things, you know, behind my legs, it's stiff like a rubber band. So anytime I try to get up, you know, it, it muscles are stiff and, you know, my muscles can't, you know, retract. I cannot stand up straight and things like that. But um, growing up, the condition was relatively normal. You know, I used to have those, you know, walking devices. And I could have walked and go any way I wanted. But through, during adolescence and adulthood, it started to, get a, it started to loosen a little bit. So I went, went to school normal. And I managed to get into secondary school. And right in, right in there to home, I went to a very prestigious school. I went to St. George's. I had a very, you know, very good, you know, I was a very happy student in St. George. But the problem, the problem with, with my school in days, um, adolescence into, you know, teenage years, I was a very slow student. I continued to try to improve on my grades. And then I went on to private school. I went to St. Augustine Community College. I tried to, you know, do better in my grades. And uh, it happened, you know, but not with all my exams. And um, I took a year off from school because I became so tired at the whole system. So I just decided to take a year off and try other things. Uh, but then again, my mom encouraged me to go back to school. She said, you need to go back to school and improve your grades, do better in school. I was a little bit reluctant because I feel like the same old story again, deja vu, same old story. But I said, you know what, I'll, I'll, give it, I'll give it a go. So instead of going back in Form 5 now, I decided to start over the whole system. I wanted to go back in Form 4 because everybody knows the CXE program starts in Form 4. So I'm 19 years old, going back into Form 4. So I just decided to focus on my weaker subjects. And, you know, I managed to get more passes. So in all, when I, when I did my CXE in like around, I think I did it in 2004. I got, I managed to get six passes in all. I managed to get into the A-level program and that was tough. So I managed to scrape some passes and I got like D's and E's and things. And I want to know if I have to go into university, will they accept this, you know, these grades and things like that? Because I always had, I always had this thing with law, you know, at a very young age, um, my cousin is also a lawyer, you know. She encouraged me to, to pick up on her because she, she always saw something in me. My dad as well. You know, when I was feeling and, and doing bad calling um, in school and, you know, I was feeling down and out, they used to always see, you know, that I had potential and I want to know why. So, you know, I, I just decided, you know, just to push on and, um, you know, I'll just try to, well, I can't get into UE because UE standards are very high. So I tried my other options. When I got my grades and stuff like that, um, I tried to look around for grades. So this is around 2006. And in 2006, now I, I, I suffered a serious, you know, setback. My dad became very ill. He was suffering from kidney failure. Um, I was very close to my, my dad. And, uh, you know, and I remember we used to be in hospital and, we, and I, I, I went and um, registered for this A-level program in this one of these schools. And I told them, well, I got through this program. And he said, you know, you know, he knew I was down and out, you know, he, you know, because of this condition and things like that. So he told me, you know what, Subhash? As long as you could, as long as you, you had it well, you, you do it. You know, no stop. As long as, as long as you have the capability, you go ahead and do it. No stop. 
I said, okay. So, and then a couple of days after that conversation, he passed away. And then, so his funeral was a couple of days, like, you know, at the, uh, uh, as, a few days after his funeral, I had to start school. And I told people, I told students my story, and they're like, oh, you started school. So, but, you know, I had to deal with the happiness of his death, and then I had to go to school and stuff like that. So, it's, it's, a, it's a serious transition at that time. So I went to school as normal, you know, I was doing, uh, I was trying to get an A-level pass in, uh, pa- pass in A-level law, because I already had sociology and GP, but I didn't manage, I didn't pass my exam that year, so I had to do it over again. So in 2007, now I had to go back and start it over. And I managed to get it, the LLB, I started the LLB in 2008, it went off pretty well. And then I, I, I suffered some setbacks in like 2010, uh, sorry, 2009 to 2010, I had to do a year. And then I switched schools again. And then between 10, 2010 and 2011, I had to go back over and do it over again. I feel like three exams. So it was like a real seesaw, up and down, up and down. It was inconsistent, but in, um, 2012, yeah, I think in 2012, I managed to get into year, the final year, the LLB. And again, I, I managed to get setbacks again, you know, um, 2013 to 20, yeah, 2012 to 2013, I had to repeat. And then 2013 to 2014, I had to repeat. I, it reached that point, I feel one exam and I had to go and do, but the whole year again, I couldn't do a, like a reset or a referral, things like that. So it's really frustrating and I find myself in this kind of, you know, awkward positions, um, you know, you know, asking, you know, am I capable of doing this? But, you know, I just keep on pushing on, you know, because people always see my potential, you know, maybe I, maybe I have to understand something that I am slower you know, that other people, maybe I have to take my time. And eventually, in 2015, I, I got my LL in this, I think it was December 2015. Now, I had another hood. I have, I, as, when I got my LLB, it wasn't like I had a UE, uh, I had a LLB from UE. I had a LLB from the University of London. So I'm an external student now. So I have to find a way to get into you to study the, the LEC, not the LPC, the LEC. So now for you, you have to write an entrance exam to get in, and that entrance, entrance exam is very tough. It's very, very tough. It, it's not easy to get in. So year after year, I have to go and repeat. I think it's like one, two, three times by 2018, I was looking at my results. I still haven't gotten, but I keep, I told myself, you know what? I can do this. You know, if I really, if I really put my head to it, I, I can do this. And in 2019, no, um, I just decided, you know, um, maybe I should try something different. I got in contact with the, um, uh, you wouldn't know school. I told them about my situation. I asked for extra times. You know, I, I asked them to cater for, you know, give me some extra time so I could do the exam. And they did. I got it. So that was an incentive to really push. I used to stay up during the night. I used to stay up from 8, to, 8 in the night to 3 in the morning doing class papers, doing over work. And this is for five weeks straight. And I managed to get do the exam. And, you know, I got that call eventually in September 2019. Um, and they told me, I, I finally, you know, congratulations, you've been successful. I waited for that call for how much years. I used to sit down and ask myself, how this call would happen? You know, where will I be? You know, things like that. And I finally got it, uh, you know, at 35 years old. Because I started when I started the whole law thing when I was 23. <laughs> Thank God I got through. To, I managed to um, pass all my exams this year. I did my in-service, you know. Because you have to, you know, do your in service and everything like that. And I got, I, I managed to be successful. And after, how old am I now? About 38. 
friend, we got my LEC, and I joined the bar like last, like a week, uh, last week, Friday. I would like to work with more with people with, you know, with, with my disabilities and stuff like that, who are differently able. Like, I, I like those kind of stuff because maybe I could give a different perspective, you know, you know, and share my ideas with, you know, you know, um, others and people who have their, you know, who have their, who have the, oh, everything, all their mental faculties and, you know, the limbs and, you know, maybe something like that. I could share information because Trinidad is like, Trinidad is in the door drums when it comes to different behavior. Right? You know, it, it, it don't have really the infrastructure to cater for people with different behavioral needs. Is there anything that you would like to tell persons, not only who may have a disability, but even persons who just generally may be encountering some sort of frustration or, or hard time in their life? What could you say to them as you have now completed this long journey? Uh, just try to keep it simple, you know. Just have a just have an idea of what you want to do, you know, and try to be around people with that positive mental attitude. And don't let nobody, don't ever let nobody try to deter you. You have to, you have to block that out of your mind and you just have to keep pushing forward, no matter what. I want to thank you very much for, for chatting with us today. It was a pleasure. Uh, congratulations and all yeah. the very best moving forward. Thank you. You're most welcome. Thank you for your time.